Sonic, the heart of your system. Alright guys, Dominic here for Kick You, and ahead of Red Dead Redemption 2 launching on PC this Tuesday just gone, one of the biggest questions I was interested in was what API the game would be running on, as Rockstar hadn't actually released any information on this until the game's launch. So once we did get into the game for the first time, we can see that there is the choice of both the Vulkan and the DX12 APIs, with Vulkan being the default. So in this video, we are gonna be testing both of those APIs to see which performs best. And to do this, we're gonna be using both Nvidia's RTX 2070 Super, as well as AMD's RX 5700 XT. I tested both cards using both APIs first with the game's inbuilt benchmark, and then again we benchmarked a manual run of actual real world gameplay testing at the beginning of the game. We did this at 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolutions and for our graphic settings we set everything to high manually so we didn't use one of the presets. If you want to see any further information on our testing as well as the exact graphic settings we used you can head over to the written article accompanying this video which is over on kitguru.net. Getting into our testing now, we'll start by looking at the performance of the inbuilt benchmark when testing at 1080p. Here we can see a small delta between the average frame rates when testing the different APIs, with our RTX 2070 Super seeing 5% higher average frame rates when using Vulkan, while the 5700 XT saw 6% higher average frame rates with Vulkan instead of DX12. That's only a small difference, but I think far more significant is the difference with the APIs when looking at the 1% lows. Using DX12, the 2070 Super saw its 1% lows improve by 16% compared when we tested with Vulkan. And for our RX 5700 XT, there the 1% lows improved by 17% with DX12 instead of Vulkan. That's definitely a big enough jump to provide a noticeably smoother gaming experience even if the average frame rates are slightly lower with Vulkan instead of DX12. Moving on to 1440p, still using the inbuilt benchmark for now, we can again see a similar story. Average frame rates are just slightly higher with Vulkan as opposed to DX12 with 3% higher frame rates for our 2070 Super, while with the 5700 XT, Vulkan does better by 4% in terms of its average frame rates. But purely looking at the average frame rates, we have to say it is very, very close between the two APIs. Again, however, the difference really does come when looking at the 1% lows. At this resolution, we see an even bigger improvement to the 1% lows when using DX12, with the 2070 Super's numbers improving by 30%. Similarly, the 5700 XT saw its 1% lows improve by 29% when switching from Vulkan to DX12. At this resolution, I have to say this really is the difference between a choppy and overall pretty unpleasant gaming experience versus a much smoother one, so it really is a definite win for DX12. Lastly, still looking at the in-game benchmark, neither of these cards can really run that well at 4K, but once again there's very little difference between the two APIs in terms of average frame rates, but again it really is Vulcan suffering with its 1% lows, which drop to around 20 FPS for both cards. So that is it for our look at the game's performance when using the built-in benchmark, but what about real-world gameplay? For this section, we benchmarked a manual run at the beginning of the story mode when the gang was still hiding out in the snowy Colta camp. Starting off our real-world gameplay testing at 1080p, here we can see just a 2% performance gap between Vulkan and DX12 in terms of the average frame rates, and this goes for both our 2070 Super as well as our RX 5700 XT. That said, here the 1% lows are even worse for Vulkan than they were in the inbuilt benchmark. For instance, our 2070 Super saw its 1% lows improve by 29% using DX12, and for the RX 5700 XT, the 1% low performance was a whopping 48% better with DX12 instead of Vulkan. Jumping up again to 1440p for our real world gameplay testing, here we can actually see average frame rates ever so slightly better with DX12 than Vulkan, which was actually the only time we saw this behavior occur. That said, for both cards, the performance difference was less than a single frame either way, so it's hardly something to shout about. 
As for the 1% lows though, by now I think we are getting the picture with DxSol offering a huge 53% uplift for the 2070 Super's 1% low performance, while our RX 5700 XT saw its 1% lows improve by 58% with DX12 instead of Vulcan. So that really is a clear win for DX12. Rounding things out now with our 4K testing, it really is more of the same here with Vulcan offering far worse performance in regards to the 1% lows. That said, neither card really provides an enjoyable experience using DX12 or Vulcan at this resolution. So if you do have a 2070 Super or 5700 XT, I think sticking to 1440p is realistic. So then, wrapping up this video, I have to say I was really quite surprised with how poorly both of our graphics cards ran when using the Vulcan API. Sure, average frame rates were actually slightly higher with Vulcan as opposed to DX12, but this was never more than 6%, but it really is the 1% low performance where things suffer for Vulcan. In a nutshell, frame times are significantly worse with Vulcan as opposed to DX12, and that manifests itself in a noticeably choppier gaming experience with quite a lot of stuttering. This was the case for both our RX 5700 XT and our 2070 Super, so based on our testing, it doesn't really look like it matters whether you have an AMD or an Nvidia card. The DX12 API is just gonna offer better performance overall. That really does sum it up quite nicely as I think right now it's a very easy conclusion to make. DX12 is simply offering a far and away better gaming experience when playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. I would expect Rockstar to roll out a number of updates over the coming month or two so we might see Vulcan performance improve. But right now if you are playing Red Dead 2 on PC I would definitely advise sticking with DX12. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you liked it, you can give us a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've been playing Red Dead 2 and how you've been finding the overall performance. If you want to check out our merch as well, including this t-shirt I've been wearing, that is linked in the description. And there you can also find our invite link to Discord where we would love to chat with you guys. Lastly, if you'd like to get access to some of our content early, as well as get access to exclusive giveaways, it'd be awesome if you guys would consider backing us on Patreon. Until then though guys, I'm Dominic Fulkiguru and I'll see you in the next video.